Hello everyone. Welcome to this brief video on Microsoft Outlook Quick Paths. Quick Paths is one of those extremely powerful yet simple tools that can help you to stay on top of your email. It's one of those little tools that can allow you to reuse little snippets of text and other objects and insert them into your email with just one key press. Things that you might often want to use in your email on a regular basis. For this little demo, we are going to be using Outlook version 2013, but feel free to use versions 2010, 2007, 2016. This technique works in all of them. So let's head over to Outlook where I'm composing a new message and we'll see what quick parts can do. So here I am in Outlook with a new message on screen, a message that I'm composing. And let's say I would like to insert a watermark into this uh, message and a watermark that I'm going to be using on a recurrent basis. So I will create the watermark for the first time and then save it as a quick part. So let's do that. I'm, to create the watermark, I'll head over to the insert menu and on the insert menu, we'll find the word art button. Now remember, if you're using a version earlier than Outlook version 2013 and you do not have the word art feature in Outlook, you can always do this in Microsoft Word and paste it into Outlook for the first time. Thereafter, the process of creating the quick part is the same. So now that I found that, I'm going to click that and create the word art that I want. So let's choose this style, light blue. And you can see that it's inserted some dummy text into my message with uh, numbering. And I'm going to take off that numbering. I'll go to the format text menu and take off the number. So there we have the text and I'm just going to type draft. I'm also going to change the color to something that is light gray. That looks all right, like a watermark. Maybe make it bold and increase the font size. There we go. Angle it a little bit. And now what I've got to do is I've got to send it behind the text. Maybe make it a little lighter than that. Yeah, that looks all right. Now I've got to send it behind the text. To send it behind the text, I go to the format menu and go to the text wrap and select behind text. So there we go. So there it is now. It's a watermark or it functions like a watermark in my email. Now you can see that it took me five or six steps to, to do this. And if I have to do this every time, I'm going to probably not be doing it as often as I should. So quick parts to the rescue and quick parts can help me to do this in one single step. So having created it for the first time, now I've got to save this as a quick part. So I head over to the insert menu. And on the insert menu, we'll find the quick parts button. And remember now these steps are the same in Microsoft version 2010 as well. And on the quick parts button, keeping my object selected, I click save selection to the quick part gallery. Once I do that, I get the create new building block dialog box. And that's another name for quick parts because the gallery is quick parts. I get to choose a name and a few other options. Now at this point, the name is really important because in the next step, I'm going to show you why the name matters. So let's select a name that is easy to type. I'm going to, and, and yet something that you might not use in the ordinary course of typing text. So I'm just going to select DRF. DRF is the name for this, um, this watermark. I click OK and I'm done. Now I'm going to delete this to show you how we can reuse it. So let's say next time I want to type an email and I want to insert my watermark at this point, I'll keep my cursor there. You can see my cursor's blinking, will blink around there. So there's my cursor. And all I need to do now, if I want to use the menu, I can go to quick parts and click my watermark here. There we go. And my watermark is inserted just where I wanted it. Now, for those of you who like keyboard shortcuts, there's something even simpler. You can simply type DRF, enter a space, 
and press the function key F3. So the moment you press the function key F3, it reads the name DRF and converts that to the quick path that we just created. And there's our watermark inserted right into our mail. Once you've created your favorite quick paths, it's a matter of just getting used to it and you'll see how much of time, how much of speed it can add to your email creation. So that's it in this brief video on Outlook quick paths. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you found that it's something that you can incorporate into your day-to-day -day work.